What's up YouTube, Russ Man here. Hope everybody's having a great day today. I was going through some of my comics and I happened to cross this storyline, Millennial Giants, with connecting covers. So I figured I'd lay them out and uh, do a video on it, along with a few other of my older comics. This was a pretty cool set. I can't really remember exactly how the storyline went because it's been so long since I read it. But the connecting covers are just pretty awesome, so I thought I'd show it off like I said. Try to get a wide shot. Pretty cool looking. Alright, I'll see you guys in a minute with some more comics. Peace. been able to do a new comic book haul in in a little while now and I probably won't be able to until August but I do still want to keep comics one of the focuses of my channel so I got this stack here of some of my favorite Superman comics some because of storyline and some because of cover art so I wanted to show these off they're in no particular order I've got Superman 1. Originally, I thought this was the very first appearance of Metallo, but from what I understand, it's a, a, like a, a first reappearance of him. But cool nonetheless, a first issue, and great cover art. Another first issue here was a Man of Steel miniseries. Uh, I can't remember the year, but I mean, it's got a 75 cent cover, so it's pretty old. Great cover art. I wish I had the entire six issue set of these, but I don't. I do have the second issue, though. And this is an older one, the 20 cent cover. And I just picked this one out because of the cover art. I thought that was pretty cool. It's been years and years since I've read this one. So I couldn't tell you about the storyline in it. But, great cover nonetheless. Another older one with a pretty cool cover. Superman 291. Man is still getting knocked out by just an average dude. I thought that was pretty funny. Here's a uh, 40 cent cover, Superman 333. It's got one of my favorite Superman villains, Bizarro. I don't really know if you'd call him a villain, maybe an anti-hero. I know they're doing a lot with Bizarro now in the uh, new issues of Red Hood and the Outlaws, but I have not got to read any of that run, unfortunately. I hear it's really good, though. Here's another uh, one I picked for a cool cover. It's Action Comics 584. Again, another older comic. That Beast Boy knocked out on the ground there. Cyborg all laid out. Superman holding his arm like Pennywise. <laughs> awesome cover art on that one. Here's another good one. The Adventures of Superman 431. Another great cover. Crushing the gun in his hands. As you can probably tell, I'm a huge Superman fan. Superman was the first superhero movie I ever saw with Christopher Reeve. And uh, Superman was the first comic book I ever read as well. So it just always stuck with me through my childhood and into adulthood. If you can call this adulthood. 
Anyway, Action Comics, issue 654, another awesome cover. I really need to get new bags and boards for all these, because these are the same bags that I've had since the 90s. <laughs> They're kind of worn out. Here is Superman Returns to Action Comics 643. It's uh, a play on the cover art of one of the originals. The original Action Comics. Awesome cover. Can't beat the classics. Another really cool cover, Adventures of Superman 424. It says premiere issue, the adventures begin. I'm not sure why it says that, because it's been years since I've read it, and it says issue 424, but maybe it's just like the return to action comics. This was the return to adventures. I don't, I don't really remember. But anyway, awesome cover. Really cool ad on the back for some Karate Kid action figures that's awesome and here's a Superboy issue one this one was based off the TV series the actual cover is the actors from the show I did watch this series back in the day but I don't really remember a whole lot about it or how long it even lasted but as a kid I was all about anything Superman. And this is a uh, Justice League number one from 97. Superman related. So I thought I'd just show it off because of the cover art on it. It says direct sales. So I'm pretty sure it's a first printing. Going back a little bit older again, Action Comics 662. This is from 1991. I picked this one out because of the cover art again. Thought it was really cool. Lois discovering the Clark as Superman. Really cool cover art. I probably should have put these in order so I'm not jumping around so much, but you know, whatever. This is what I would consider a key issue. Superman 75, The Death of Superman. This was part of the first storyline I ever started reading that got me into comics to begin with. So this holds a special place to me. Awesome issue, awesome cover. 1993. Here's like a, a anniversary issue, Action Comics 700 from 1994, The Fall of Metropolis. Great issue, really good read from what I remember. It's kind of crazy to think that it's uh, issue 1000 now. It's been a while. And this was the first issue of The Funeral for a Friend, Justice League number 70. It's got the, uh, the little slip cover on it. Pretty cool. Oh yeah, I got Booster Gold holding uh, the Ted Cord Blue Beetle. I forgot that was on the cover because I haven't looked at it in so long. Awesome issue. Got Man of Tomorrow number one from 1995. It's crazy, all these memories. 95 doesn't even seem like that long ago to me, but it is. To give you another idea about it, it's got an ad for Batman Forever on the back of it. 
which was still better than Batman and Robin, but not the greatest. Picked this one out for the cover art. Have not read it in a while, so I can't remember the exact context uh, context of it. But it was Action Comics 714, and the cover art on this is just awesome. Joker rocking the suit with the J instead of an S. I just thought that was so cool. Had to throw that one in. And this is the first issue of Superman Red, Superman Blue from 1998. It's got the 3D cover art. The, this book itself is not 3D, it's just the cover art. And it came in a pack that I wish I hadn't opened when I was young. But it came in a pack with this book, which is actually 3D. And it also came with 3D glasses, which I sadly do not have anymore. I say young, but this came out in 98, so I was 18. <laughs> awesome cover, though. And this is a three-issue miniseries to end it off. Superman Legends. And this has just got some amazing cover art, in my opinion. So I had to put these in as some of my favorites for covers. I really need to reread this. Because I'm sure it's probably a great story too. I just don't really, really remember it. Here's issue two. Again, cover art. Absolutely amazing. And issue three to end it off. No exception on the cover art. Awesome, awesome stuff. And uh, that'll do it for today's comic video. Uh, my next one will hopefully be in August with some brand new issues. And uh, my P.O. box will be down in the description if you guys want to send some artwork or something cool my way. I'll tack it up on my wall back here. And you can follow me on Instagram at Russman's Fun Collectibles and Twitter at Russlander80. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.